move and I'm really coming away from all the foolishness, all the negativity. Uh, if you check the last video, we kind of talked about uh, my opinion about some of the reasoning behind the George Floyd shooting, um, its purpose. We talked about that several videos prior to any of these events starting. And you see the purpose and how the, um, the energy kind of flows until the response that has been looked for um, uh, finally is uh, that response finally is you finally get that response you're looking for. It's achieved. And we've been talking about this ever since the Virginia and the blackface and the Charlottesville and police shootings um, earlier and Obama's um, term is trying to just start off a form of a, a race riot, start off unrest. And that's what they achieved. And they used the coronavirus environment, the fear, to get the anger that they were looking for. And this is the masterful chess move of the elite. I mean, you're playing with masterful chess players. They know how to play the game and they're very patient. So to beat them, you have to be just as patient. But you also have to be on another level. You have to be on a spiritual and celestial level. You can't fight this war on this physical you know, BS level that they like to play on. So police brutality, uh, he hates me because I'm black. You know, you, you can't really win at that level. You have to be thinking of why do they hate you because you're an African-American or a person of color? Um, what is the continued targeting of people of color? It's always the purpose behind the madness. And it's a celestial purpose and goes back to understanding who you are. So we saw this coming. We saw this whole thing unfolding. I told people not to react to what they were saying. And, you know, we don't know even what's real or what's staged. Remember that we got social distancing rules that were supposed to be in effect that now are out the window. And when Trump, you know, I, I talked about it, when Trump said that people would forget about the coronavirus, of course they would because the elite are going to design a way to get take you out of one scenario and put you in the next scenario. But you're still in the same scenario. You really haven't moved anywhere. So to get everybody's mind off of COVID-19, well, we just bring up a, you know, a black story. And they do it all the time. They bring up a nigger story, as I like to say. And they find a way to use African-Americans or people of color as a way to steer you off of one, um, they like to steer you off of one, one thing and put you on another. So the way how they move throughout different events. And so this is the way they're going to get your mind off of COVID. They'll start um, slowly removing restrictions. People will be so much concerned about police brutality that they're not even paying attention to the restrictions no more. All these mayors and these so-called Democrats who are on the side of African-Americans who African-Americans thought they were on their side are going to start turning on them. They'll bring up some gun some gun bills because just as the African-Americans are the victims now, they'll be the perpetrators tomorrow. We see the same routine with these stories. So I ain't even been watching the news. I think someone tried to call me to talk about that garbage yesterday. I am not even on that level anymore because you have to remove yourself from that level to get to where we need to be. This is a time for preparation. Your body, your temple should be preparing itself for the war because war is coming. So I'm not even worried about anything at this level. I'm not gonna be out there looting and burning up cities. I don't know who the fuck George Floyd is. I never met Arbery. And you know, any they tell you who these people are. George is 33, Arbery is 33. Who, who, have you ever met a black person named Arbery? They create these people to get you to react. And we react every time. We react every time. George Paul Floyd and Steven Jackson talking about, my, that's my twin brother. Then they throw revelations at you. And you're not paying attention because you don't understand it. It's people that go to church that don't understand anything they read. They just think it's a book. So you're playing against people who know your book better than you do, 
who practice the rituals of the book better than you do. And then you want to know why you're behind the curve. So they continue the creation of the vaccine. They uh, continue the creation of the tracer program. We talked about how now the anger from the tracer program is going to lead to civil unrest. That was the plan. That was the plan. Now you got no choice but to protect yourself. There's, there's no more options. There's no more options. If you don't go to quarantine, they're going to send either the National Guard or the police to your home. We got no options. And if you're already angry, of course you're going to pull a pistol on a police officer. That's what they want you to do. Then they can say, oh, this, well, this is the reason why you have to get the guns out of those people of color's hands. They're savages. We got to get their weapons. Then you can't protect yourself. Now we can round them up. We can continue our hunt for the X gene. We can, we can search out and find the 144. We can remove them. So when the time for Space Force's um, battle comes, they won't be able to defend themselves on the Earth. Like I said, all an elaborate plan and all a part of the same ritual. We've never come out of the ritual. We've always been in the ritual. Our sirens continue to be open. Portals continue to be open using various people. And here we are. So am I going hogwash crazy over people I've never met? No. No, because that would be like me saying all police officers are bad, which is, a, a falsehood. It's not true. So, no, I'm not going to say anything like that because I really don't care. And some people go, oh, you don't care about... No, I don't. I, I never met George Floyd a day in my life. Don't know what the hell he did. If he exists, if he doesn't exist, I'm not going to protest foolishness. You're not going to get me to react the way you want me to based upon foolishness. But that's what they want. They want you to react based upon foolishness. So, you know, it's too late to continue to talk and preach the same thing about reaction when we just keep reacting the same way and passing the message on to, you know, other people of color. Stop reacting this way. Stop reacting this way. Stop letting people bait your reaction to get what they want for their agenda because now you just played directly into agenda. It's too late now. You can't turn it off. We already said this was coming. You can't turn it off. Everything you see now, it's not even the reality anymore. The new reality is coming. Cities will burn. This is the new reality based upon the elite's agenda. They got the reaction they've been looking for the whole time. And the reaction was always geared towards people of color because they need to round people of color up. That's what it's about. The X hunt. They'll tell you what they're going to do. You see, now they got Space Force on Netflix like it's a comedy. They're going to try to make it sound funny. Oh, no, it's not funny to them. Oh, they're, they're going to get up in space with the SpaceX program. They're trying to defend themselves, and they're going to try to get you to buy into where you got to fight the bad guys that's coming. No, no, you don't. Stay right here on Earth. Don't join no Space Force. Don't even join the military at this point. Stay free and clear. Sit your ass on the ground. Wait on the masses to come and do what they got to do. Stay clear of anything that's foolish. Let them let them get dealt with the way they should have got dealt with a long time ago. Remember, we created this foolishness. So we have to live in it. We, we created it. We have to live with it. Okay. July is the time period where everything will begin to kind of wrap up with the COVID stuff. Um, the C sports teams are starting in July, and that's not by coincidence. Remember, I create errors in, in seven days. A lot of times, at the death of something and the birth of something is, is kind of tied into the seven. So, kind of the end of this part of the coronavirus in general, the end of this ritual, of course, will be in July because that's the seventh month. And you'll see the courts open back up. Now, remember, with all this foolishness going on out there, they can't really prosecute anybody because. There's no courts open. That's why also in July, you'll see arrests really start to pile up and the courts will start dealing with stuff because the courts are not open. So that's that 
symbolism of why July is that time period for most of the important things to start opening up. Because that's the end, that'll be our out, that'll be your uh, omega. Seventh is usually the end. Remember, God rested on the seventh, finished on the sixth, rested on the seventh. And then we roll back into the alpha, which is going into August. But you see the sports teams now playing the game of we're going to open up in July. Uh, no fans pretty much for baseball. They probably have selected fans because they're going to do it in Florida. Um, you see that AEW started that earlier, bringing everything back to Florida. Because Florida was going to be the first state where you can have, you know, a couple of fans, but not a lot. Why is that important for what sports teams are doing? Because they're part of the agenda. Remember, before all of this took place, TV revenue was down because people were not tuning in. People were not watching sports at home on TV. So viewership had been in the toilet. What's the best way to get viewership back up? We'll create a situation where people are hungry for their sports. Gamblers are hungry to gamble. And they got to watch. And the only way they can watch now is on TV. The only entity that had remained open was wrestling. And wrestling is hurting because wrestling is a, a sport that feeds off the energy of people. So you'll slowly start seeing, you know, them kind of, you know, really focus on Florida, which they already have been doing. But they'll start bringing in a couple of fans here and there, kind of to bring up that energy slowly. All the other sports, basketball, they'll be doing a summer league format which they know in Orlando, which they run full scrimmage games, a couple of people around, and that's how you'll watch basketball, but it's all about TV revenue and increasing TV revenue, which was down, which was down. Remember now that the networks, they'd already paid his money, but they weren't getting out of anything out of the deal. So, of course, you set up the coronavirus environment. You force people now to have to watch sports at home. That's all they did. But they'll play like they were the first people to say, oh, we, especially in NBA, well, we're going to stop the, the NBA game. They, just, they don't care. Of course they're going to stop. But now, because they know they won't get that revenue back in the back end. And, you know, they get that you get the bulk of that money off of TV deals. And the players will get some of those TV deals. Same with baseball. Same with hockey. So pretty much the same agenda with your so-called sports teams. The, the athletes that act like they care, who don't really give a fuck, they never really did come out. We took a pay cut. They'll get that back and just endorsement for commercials because everybody be watching at home for a while. Football will steal the XFL model. The XFL model with limited fans, probably smaller stadiums, they'll probably take some of those FX, XFL stadiums and play games in there because you don't need to fill those up and you still can make your revenue. That's all they're going to do. That's why the XFL was created. Now you're seeing why that was created. It was just created for the model to see if the model can work, to see if you can you can get people to watch XFL games, to see if you can you can kind of make money off of limited amounts of things because they know they can. So they'll just change up utilizing various models. Basketball, hockey, uh, baseball is all about TV revenue right now. And they found the best way to do it, using the coronavirus environment. You got to stay at home and watch games. Online gambling will be in New York. Online gambling is about to hit New York hard. That bill is about to pass. So New York will be popping online with gambling. And everybody gets what they want. Thank you, coronavirus. So everything the elite does is a strategic plan. They just don't do it to be doing it. They have long-term plans for the vaccine to... You know, we need more people to watch sports on TV, to we need these niggas to act the fool on the streets. They always have a strategic plan. So when you're dealing with people like this, you got to understand the rituals, understand why they give you people, why they present people at certain times, why the ritual is important to them. Remember the Twin Cities, the burning of the Twin Cities to start off this revolution, to start off this, this war, because we are in war. War can be physical, spiritual, and it all leads to celestial warfare, which is a physical warfare. So we all we already been in World War Three. It's, it's not like it it hasn't begun yet. This is just it's slow beginnings. Remember the Chinese piece. The Chinese and Americans act like they're enemies. Remember China, China is the the puppet master. 
They are the dynasty. So they pretty much move countries along as they see it. Remember that? Pretty between China and Africa, you're talking about the African countries. These are the dynasties that still are moving the pieces around. So all of this is part of the same game. We have not left the ritual. We're still very deep in ritual and we're getting deeper and deeper into the ritual. Just you really have to pay attention. You really have to listen to what's being said in various truth truth channels. And we'll talk about the Tiger King, talk about the Monkey King, why they brought the Tiger King story out. And when Michael David still looking for that that leader. At King David, I don't like to scare people when I talk, but you know, prophets and demons come back. Well, for some reason, they're just brought back. So if you watch, I've been watching Narco, and why does Escobar look like Hitler? And anytime they talk about Escobar and Narco, if you watch it, they always put a reference to Hitler, but they look the same. Yeah, just notice some things. They bring these type of individuals back for Pacific Agenda. They brought, they have Escobar as the Hitler of, pretty much the Hitler of drug dealing. He was the scourge of his community. He was loved in the community. Either you love them or you hate him. Plus, he was a terrorist, but he flooded America with, with cocaine, a drug that America act like they didn't know nothing about that had been around for centuries. Come on. But, you know, this is agenda passing. This is how they pass agenda, and this is how they work through ritual. Everything is about ritual. We're moving into this space force um, part of the ritual. They have to go into space to defend themselves. They have to go into space to find a way to get the fuck away, get off this planet and get away from everybody else. If you think they haven't been to Mars yet, you're a damn fool. They've been going to Mars for years. So don't think they ain't been to Mars and ain't started colonization programs or their plan for colonization because they got a nice little workforce that they've been building up through desperation. They're going to get your ass to go to Mars and do, and do some work. So... Everything is a set agenda. Everything is going according to their plans until their plans fall apart because there's a part of their plan that they can't stop anyway. But a lot going on. Don't take the bait. And I, I think Cube, uh, Ice Cube said in his song, "Don't drink the Kool Aid. If you drink the Kool Aid, you're gonna get you're gonna get the bitter taste. Don't drink the Kool Aid. Don't be quick always to drink the Kool Aid. And unfortunately for some people, emotions lead them to drink the Kool-Aid. You can't always play life with emotions. You have to play life with intelligence, too. You have to play life with a sense of logic. And you have to really deal with these people from a spiritual level. You can't deal with them on any other level because you'll get washed out real quick. So fear can't guide you because they need, they, they utilize fear greater than anything. You need a lot of love inside of this. Your anger has to be limited because you don't control every aspect. You can control yourself, but you definitely can't let fear guide and dictate your life. You can't do that. So belief in the higher power, belief in the elite, the belief in the masters. Believe that they're coming back. They're going to deal with this situation. You don't even have to deal with it. Let them deal with it. They're going to use the people they need to, to deal with the situation. Let these people out here do what they're going to do because they think they're winning when they're actually about to lose. And they know that. They know they're about to lose. But they're just trying to do everything they can. They're just trying to do everything they can. So this is the environment that they created. The coronavirus environment, this racial tension environment. They create these environments. Either you can play in them or you can watch them from the sidelines. And I would say watch them from the sideline because we have no stake in those type of those type of games. We got bigger stakes and bigger things we have to do. So always remember that. You know, we're inside of a spiritual and celestial war. And you have to be playing on those levels because your opponent is playing on those levels. Mr. Mahdi, Back Row Ministry. Everybody have a good one. Be safe. Stay logical. Peace.